Wikipedia for STEM education with a focus on education equity. We're going to make a proposal to the National Science Foundation, NSF 22085, for a mid-scale research infrastructure incubator. How do you do? My name is Lane Raspberry. I'm Wikimedian in residence at the School of Data Science. Let's talk about this proposal. A researcher in the School of Education is going to make a, an educational intervention. So the idea is that there's some way to teach STEM. So that just has to do with modern educational techniques. But we're going to use Wikipedia to do distribution and dissemination of that intervention. Wikipedia is best known for content distribution. It can certainly do that. There's other ways to do other kinds of interventions in Wikipedia. But by putting an intervention into Wikipedia, we get all the benefits of the platform. We get some unfair advantages that other people do not have, are, are unable to access. When you're thinking about Wikipedia, like how do you judge what Wikipedia can do? We're talking about a communication intervention. So in the same way that somebody might set up educational resources in a website or in social media or in some kind of app or anything that is digital technology, Wikipedia can do these also. So if you've ever seen an intervention that you like, Wikipedia can, can do that. Uh, this, this is an option. So we're combining the educational intervention, something proven, some kind of pedagogy, that works. So this could be content, this could be a way of teaching things, whatever the content is. And then we're combining that with Wikipedia as the distribution platform. Advantages to Wikipedia. Well, Wikipedia is the most requested, published, access, and consulted source of information on every topic. I, I know that's shocking, but it's we can back it up with data. If you put content into Wikipedia, then it gets distributed. People find it. When they do search anywhere online through a search engine or through any kind of platform, then because Wikipedia is machine readable, it's considered fair data, then all the other search functions, they, they point to Wikipedia in, in very many different ways. Wikipedia gets 1 billion unique visitors a year. This is an underutilized resource. It's a nonprofit platform. Anyone can be putting content here, but so few educators do. And we're gonna model how to do this, take advantage of Wikipedia and the extent to which Wikipedia is cost-effective, uh, effective for, for impact. We're gonna, gonna measure these things. And this kind of intervention at scales. We do this for a few topics, a few demographics. We measure how it goes. And if at any time in the future, people want to add more topics and more demographics, then the, the, the project just scales with putting more content in Wikipedia. This isn't about Wikipedia exactly. I'm, I, I'm framing this as a Wikipedia project. It's a bit bigger than that. But when you think of Wikipedia, think of a catch-all platform for publishing online. If you put content into Wikipedia, you're distributing it to a group of people. And Wikipedia is very adaptable because it's structured data. It's easy to export the content you put into Wikipedia. Wikipedia helps you clean up the content content that you're putting in. So if for whatever reason an intervention works in Wikipedia, but somebody wants to do that intervention in another technological platform, it's easy to migrate content out of Wikipedia, then put it wherever you want to go. That is, interventions in Wikipedia are not just about Wikipedia, they're about circulating the intervention throughout the online information ecosystem. Uh, how, do, how do we do this? So I, I've told you about the Wikipedia part to this. What are the other parts of it? Well. An education researcher sets the theme and the demographic targeting of the project. So what, what are we going to teach? When I'm talking about STEM education, what are we talking about? We can't do everything. Somebody's going to have to pick a focus. Uh, maybe, for example, this is something that we in the Wiki community have been looking at, how to better teach software development to all kinds of people, including uh, beginners, so uh, high school level or junior high level or, or younger. The situation is that Wikipedia has articles on all these topics in software and mathematics. And should it happen that anyone does an online search for any of these concepts, they find the Wikipedia article. We know this because we can export the traffic. We can look at the traffic and see how many people are engaging with this. But if somebody had a good way to teach any of these concepts, something proven, backed by research, if we put that intervention in the Wikipedia article, then we deliver it to the people who are looking for it and we can take for granted that it, it's, it's going to reach people who are looking for this information. There's other kinds of targeting that we can do. So Wikipedia has a voice, it has a tone. There's ways that we can word things in Wikipedia to make the content more accessible, increase the readability, or increase its 
diverse applicability to different kinds of groups. And when we start thinking about actual demographics that are going to be using this, age groups and cultural backgrounds, then if we put that kind of thought and research and best practices into Wikipedia, then the article becomes better for everybody. We can do things like, uh, a simple example is we have a good article in English, we can translate it to Spanish. Wikipedia exists in English language, it exists in Spanish language. So we can take these concepts and make them accessible to, to different, kinds of, different kinds of stakeholders. There's other ways that we can make Wikipedia more accessible as well. But we need a professor, we need an expert in education to say what kind of intervention and what kind of demographic are we going to be targeting with this intervention. Again, Wikipedia is just a distribution channel. We need a social scientist somebody to judge the quality of the content and the impact that it has, has in Wikipedia. Wikipedia is a platform. When you take content and put it into the platform, the platform itself changes the content. The medium is the message. There's something about Wikipedia that changes the nature of it as compared to putting it on your own website or putting it in an app. So when we deliver the content, we need somebody to assess what are the implications of, of putting the content in the context of Wikipedia with the hyperlinking and the connection to all these other contents. How does that change the educational intervention? I'm able to pull out the traffic metrics from Wikipedia. Anybody can do this. It's publicly available. No one needs special research permission to request this. You just click the button and you can see how many people are reading a given Wikipedia article or 100 Wikipedia articles or a network of Wikipedia articles. But we need a social scientist to interpret what is the, the significance of this kind of traffic and this kind of audience engagement. I'm sure that if anyone looked at Wikipedia, they would be impressed with the engagement. It's large, as I've said. But still, it needs interpretation. Of course, there's thousands of academic articles evaluating Wikipedia in different ways. There's a body of this. But we need this done in the context of education and reaching certain demographics of students. Something that Wikipedia does besides content creation is it's a, it's a research platform. It's a lot of things. Wikipedia has been around for more than 20 years. It's consumed more than a billion dollars in cash development over its history. And in addition to the cash development, it's had a huge number of volunteer contributors sorting out content processes, technology, software code, tools. It's, it's very, very many things. And I can't briefly describe all, all of these things. But something that I can say that is of relevance to this project is that Wikipedia is interconnected with the academic literature to an extent that many people do not appreciate. That's relevant to this project because when you're talking about educational interventions, there's a couple of, of kinds of scholarly connections that, that education benefits from. One is fact checking. So if you're going to say something especially something in, in STEM fields. You just need simple fact checking. And a good way to do that is to connect claims in Wikipedia to citations to scholarly publications that back that claim or textbooks. And Wikipedia can do this in a machine readable way so that somebody can very easily verify sentence by sentence where did this information that we're sharing, our educational intervention, where, the, where did it come from? But there's another fundamental issue in education and that is why should, you, why should anybody be even sharing this information? Who says that this educational intervention is going to be efficacious? There's scholarly, scholarly literature in education. So there's the ERIC database. This is a research database of publications about educational interventions. There's uh, summaries of ERIC. This isn't quite accurate. It's, it's, it's another website, another uh, collection that uh, describes outcomes in Eric and makes them more digestible or recommends them. The What Works Clearinghouse, very well known in education. So these are guides intended for educators to read so that they know what works in education, what are the best practices. So we have something more scholarly and we have something more practical for everyday educators. And as we do these interventions in Wikipedia, and this isn't something that the wiki community is accustomed to in education, but we have the capacity for doing this, is we can connect these educational intervention guides to the content that we're putting in Wikipedia so that it's public and transparent and someone can run robots, machine verification, that there's some backing between the content in the Wikipedia article and a scholarly rationale for why we're doing the intervention in this way. We can connect the research to the, the, the educational resource. 
We do this by slurping up databases of content. We've done this before in Wikipedia. It's a bit new. We've had experiments with Eric and What Works Clearinghouse. We want to have more of this in Wikipedia. But where we have the most precedent for this is with our medical content, with, with PubMed. So PubMed is a scholarly research database for the pharmaceutical industry and for medical care. It's run by the National Institutes of Health. And they've invested a huge amount of money. It's the, it's the best developed research database that you can find on any subject. And that's because there's so much money in the field of medicine. Why I'm describing this for education is that there's less money in education. Eric is just simply not as well developed as a database. However, with all the investment in PubMed itself and the amount of that investment that's come into Wikipedia, as we've done fact checking of Wikipedia articles to match our medical articles to medical sources, we can apply that same process and same technology to education. So in the Wikipedia platform, education benefits from technology development that people thought was for medicine, but what do you know? It actually applies to education and a great many other things. So these kinds of surprises happen in Wikipedia, but when I say that we're gonna connect Eric to Wikipedia, hard for me to explain how that works. The easiest way that I can explain is, we've done it for medicine, we'll do it the same way for Eric. When I say educational intervention, we're talking about setting up a national or maybe North American uh, research incubator for, for getting out more educational interventions. What happens in Wikipedia scales? So we can distribute content in Wikipedia, for example, by editing one Wikipedia article at a time. And when you edit one Wikipedia article, you can put a meter on that. How much labor did it require to develop the Wikipedia article? What does it mean to be a Wikipedia editor? You can, you can put a time on that and you can say, okay, to distribute an educational intervention, we can put this content in this article and it's gonna reach an audience of this size. And we can look at historical traffic in Wikipedia. We can do analysis of these kinds of things to find the highest priority areas. You can estimate in advance what it's going to cost to do a particular educational intervention and to get a certain outcome. Wikipedia is very good for this. And it scales. So as we do this pilot, for this, this incubator, we come up with some initial results and we propose how to scale this up and set up a national incubator to say, okay, we're doing this at the University of Virginia, but actually any university can participate in this. It's a national network. They don't need to connect with us exactly. They can connect with us in Wikipedia. And again, this isn't even about Wikipedia. This entire project is about putting your educational intervention in a format that it can go into Wikipedia, but also if it can go into Wikipedia, it can also go into anything that's digitally native because Wikipedia checks your copyright licenses. It checks the extent to which your content is machine readable. And if content can go into Wikipedia, what I'm saying is you can stick it in any platform. Wikipedia is just a distribution channel, but it, it helps you organize your content as well. The last thing that I'll say about this is, again, I'm a Wikipedia editor. I'm at a university. I'm a Wikipedian. There's a distinction between Wikipedians and the good people who run the Wikipedia platform. Those are the staff of the Wikimedia Foundation. I am not staff of the Wikimedia Foundation. I'm a researcher at a university. The reason why someone should make the distinction is for their own clarification. There's all these social media websites and user generated content websites. There's things like YouTube, where people are posting videos and you can have an inter educational intervention in YouTube. You post a video and then see how people engage in it. That, that's comparable to what we're talking about in this project. We're content creators and we're checking out the impact of that content. If you want videos made at YouTube, you do not contact YouTube you contact the YouTuber who's posting the videos. If you want reach in social media, you don't call up Twitter, you contact the people who are good at posting tweets. We're users of the platform, we're not the people who are designing these kind of platforms. But even as we do this, I assure you, the people at the Wikimedia Foundation, they support projects like this, they want more engaged communities. Uh, we don't need to go through the Wikimedia Foundation for this. It's not bottlenecked at the Wikimedia Foundation is what I'm saying. 
the kind of people who can participate in this project are any researcher at any university who has any educational resource that they want to share. All, all they need to do is, is post it and adapt it, and this, this very much scales up, both in the participation of people designing this and the limits of who can reach, reach, and, reach and access and use and engage with this kind of content. Uh, thanks so much for hearing me out. If you have any questions, contact me. Thank you. Thank you.